Hi, let's have a look at this Microsoft Power Automate community thread. So the question asked here is, there is a Microsoft form collecting all the desired responses. Then the user need to apply that in a, the responses in a particular order to collect that and then sending an email. So let's start building the flow. So how the plan is we will build a flow, collect all the responses, then we can apply certain filters to get the certain results in a certain manner. Okay, so let's see how can we do that. Right, this is my Microsoft form. And yeah, this is a form. And uh, here you can see I added a couple of questions here. So suppose I want to collect uh, question number one, two, and five. These are yes or, yes or no questions. So I want to filter only the yes questions. And that's, uh, suppose, call that as a generic questions, yeah? So number one, number two, number five are generic questions. And then specific questions such as this is more like uh, how many hours you play a week, what sport you play these are specific to the sport as well okay so there are two categories so the plan is we collect all the responses and then um, do more filtering techniques that's what i'm trying to show you here okay let's uh, uh, go back to the flow okay i'm going to uh, select my form so that is uh, sports survey 2022 the next step is get response details. Again, select the same form again. Right. And the response ID. Okay, the response ID is coming from the previous step. Here we go. So we got all the responses now at this stage. Okay, so this is where I'm going to apply a specific technique to show how can we how can we collect all the values in one place and then we can apply some filters. Okay, so for that, if you look here under the dynamic variable, you can see uh, do you play sports? Uh, all these answers only we get here. That's it. Nothing else. Okay, so to filter, we need a uh, we need an object of data so that means that collection of data need to be in a consistent manner okay so for that what i'm going to do here is and that's an array also this is an array of values so that means i'm going to put two square bracket that means it's an array and then i'm going to put my first um, uh, json data here so i'm going to make this as a json object and uh, i'm going to call this as generic so uh, remember, I said earlier, one, two, and five. These are my yes or no questions. So I'm going to categorize that as a generic questions. The other one I'm going to categorize more as a sports details question. Okay. Okay, let's go back to flow now. So th the type is generic. And uh, next one is costume. And I'm going to call here, do you want to, sorry, do you play sports again comma double quotation response and under the response again go to the dynamic properties and select do you play sport there we go that's the first one we got and the next one we can collect again the same object so that's a good news so here we can say now here like uh, it's the same um, JSON I want to collect. So I'm going to do one thing. I'm going to copy this. Right. And delete the space. And the next question is, do you play team sport? Here it is. And take the relevant uh, response. Do you play team sports? Okay. Again, comma, next one, delete that space again. So the third question is, uh, can we contact you via email? That's the fifth question, remember, can we contact you via email? 
okay so let me go back there delete that question again here and type can we contact you via email and then close that and again uh, sorry remove that and again right okay so we got all the generic ones then there are two text box answers so i'm going to call that as a sports uh, details that so my type is going to be slightly different than this then. So again, copy this and call that as uh, sports details. And the first question is how many hours you play a week? Okay, and uh, again, uh, how many hours you play a week? And then one more we need to do. And okay, here it is. So, I think I got everything now. Uh, so that what sport you play as well. So I got that as well. Right, so there are two uh, categories here. One, the type, uh, so I decided my own type here, sports details, and then uh, the generic ones. So now we got this, uh, you know, the the data we got. The next thing we need to do here is, remember, we need this. Uh, so I'm going to copy this for the next step. I'll tell you my technique, what I'm going to apply it here is. Just copy, uh, copy the first one, that's good enough. And then the next step, I'm going to add a pass json so that i can access those properties that's you know and then here i'm going to select the combos that's my responses yeah okay just call it as um, uh, it's good to have a good naming convention so it's called all responses and then under the content uh, here okay just collect all responses so the schema we want here is that so when you copy is a remember it uh, it may it uh, gives this this we don't want it so just call the response it's a text value uh, so i'm going to call it as um uh, just call response as s like that yeah that's fine and then you can put any text there for generating the schema um it's not specific to that and then copy this again we know it's an array remember that's an array so copy again this and put a square bracket and a left square bracket in the beginning to make it as an array. That's it. So we got, you know, that kind of a value we are collecting. Everything is a, a string value and uh, that's all we need here. So I generate the schema. So all we need, all we need is this main thing is a type question response. That property need to be consistent in the next tag. Here I can put anything here. It doesn't matter here. Um, you know, the, so I can put A, B, C here. I can put X, Y, Z here. Doesn't matter. Okay, so you can have under the question also anything because it's a string value. Yeah, done. So you can see here now it's an array. That's an object, and now here see type. The type is a string, and the schema it's uh, is generated now. Okay, so let's save this at this stage. So we are going to call uh, forms demo. Uh, Microsoft form uh, filter technique. Let's save it. Okay, so next I'm going to sh uh, apply a filter now. So this is where that filter technique is going to come up. So let's take the filter. Now, you know, we got the JSON body. Uh, then here I can say now my type. So type uh, is a sorry type is a property which I can select now from here. See that type. So type is equal to what? So equal to generic. So if I want to just get the generic only, because I know I got one, two, three values as generic there, isn't it? So uh, let's go back here and call this as generic. Okay. And uh, next step, what I could do now here is uh, I could say something like uh, create a HTML table if I want. And then uh, here I can say the previous output of the filter body. And under the show advanced options, I'm going to set it as 
automatic now at the minute. Let's save that flow now. So at this stage, uh, once the uh, response is, is submitted, it should filter only the value type as generic one only and creating a HTML table. Okay, so um, uh, let's go back now. And I'm going to submit the sports survey now. So, okay, so let's say, okay, I'm going to say, yes, I do play sport. Do you play team sport? No, I won't. And I play, okay, 10 hours a week I play. Which one? Okay, I play badminton a lot. So I'm going to type badminton. Can we contact? With? Yes. So there are two yes, one no, and then, uh, okay, other test one. So submitted it. Done. Okay, let's see the flow is run is running or not. Okay, so let's go back to the flow. Here it is. Flow ran successfully. Let's go and have a look. So here we collected all the response. If I click on show output, here it is. See that we got a consistent of the schema of the data we collected it. it doesn't matter what order it is. It doesn't care here, but it does. Uh, apply that in the filter one. The key here is you need to make uh, the property name consistent type question response. That's what I did. Okay. And the next bit here is pass JSON is passed successfully. Then I'm filtered it successfully. Then if I go to the create table, uh, here it is. See that it created a nice table, just the answers I want. So I'm going to expand a little bit more about this here. What I, what I have, uh, suppose uh, you uh, want to uh, get only the response as a yes one only here. Okay, so for that, what we want to do here is, so I typed here type is generic, uh, that's good. So if I go to the edit mode, I can see here equals bracket item type. So the next one I need to do here is, I can't add another, um, uh, you know, property here. Um, this UI doesn't allow it. So you need to edit in advanced mode. So you can see uh, in bracket uh, equals generic. Yeah. So I'm going to say comma. Then another one you can type here equals. bracket and that is the item again you need to type quite slowly here because this it's quite a bit flicky here when you type in advanced mode I don't know why uh, so it will take a little bit time okay item then square bracket uh, that's a response I want so response make sure it should be the right spellings I'm typing too fast <laughs> that's why okay response single quotes square bracket then comma then single quotes again and I want only to collect the yes answer only and then two brackets because the bracket starts here remember so this bracket the first bracket is for this equals and then the last one that looks good let's try to run this so you don't need to submit this again I can just go back here and say um, using the test flow I can use the last success uh, successful run here and say run it again oh something got wrong in the wrong in the filter array that okay so let me go and have a look at that yeah of course I forgot the and isn't it so uh, the and I forgot here so a Okay, the, so this is what I said. It's a bit flicky actually. When I say type it, uh, when I type any letter in the beginning, the cursor goes at the last. And then bracket again here. There we go. That's, let me save it. Okay, so let's run this. So what should happen here is it should only filter with the S value only here. So let's let me see my response here. So I got uh, not that response. I was hoping this one here because we got everything here. So here you can see two yes and one no. So that means I should only get two yes only here under the under the filter array. Yes, it filtered only two here, and then you can see in my create HTML, it's only get those two only. And um, I'll 
show you one more technique here. Uh, this might be useful as well. So here uh, in my, uh, here I'm generating an automatic one. That means, uh, you know, um, as you've seen here, like um, all the columns been the type, it's replicated there. So see, generic, generic. Suppose you don't want the generic, you just want the question and response. The technique you need to do here is you need to go and say custom. And then here you apply here question. I can't type. <laughs> okay, so under the under the question uh, you need to do um, an expression. Expression is again click on the function here and type item brackets question mark that your property of the your um, object the JSON object that is question. So remember that's one we added here, isn't it? So here, see the question here. And then the response, that's another property we want. We want. So again, you go and type here response. And again, click on the function. Item, question mark, response. So I'm not generating automatically now. I'm generating a custom create HTML. Let's see how that's going to look like again. So I'm again using the test flow to run this. Here it is. So I got the custom column, column values. So this is a technique you can use to collect all the responses in one place, like in a combo statement. And then, uh, you know, apply your own schema. And then use the filter technique to filter it. And if you want the multiple, uh, you know, uh, values to um, filter, then click on the advanced option. And then the interface will go like this. Make sure you enter the right expression. And then use the create HTML table. Then afterwards, if you want to send the email, you can send the email or what are the business process you want to do it. Hope this is useful. And thank you for watching.